Hello, Matthew Taming here. Welcome to another video tutorial for SP Page Builder 3. In this lesson, I want to show you how to add something cool. There's a flip box. So let's drag it over. Now, flip box has a really cool effect. You notice when you put on there, it starts off with an image or a content on the front end. Once you put your mouse over it, then it shows you something else. So it's a great way for you to style different parts of your website. So let's kind of add something to this effect a little bit. So I'm going to create three columns here. So you put that there and that shows. So you can put this in, in a column by itself or you can, you know, kind of spread it out. So what I'm going to do is with this one, you know, let's start with this one here. You put your mouse over it and you notice that it has, you know, that effect on there. So let's start at the very top. So you have here flip on hover. So if someone put the mouse is going to flip or you want to flip on click. So if they click on it, that's when it changes. So if you want people to click on it or if once they put their mouse on, you can choose that effect. And then right here is just some basic code in that you can change. So, for example, let me go back to the flip on click. So let's say, for example, you want to change uh, this signal right here. Um, you know, I know this right here looks a little bit intimidating, but there's pretty much nothing more about. And you can change this product design title to whatever you want it to be. Marketing tips. And you can change if you want to change this little signal icon right here, you can do that. Now, if you don't know what to change it to, you go with the find awesome icons and pretty much any icon that you can see here, you can pretty much use on your Joomla website with the SP page builder three. So let's say you wanted to add this address book, for example, all you need to do is you see where it says F A A. You just have to put this address book right there. So let's go back on this site. You notice now it has F A A, you know, F A F A dash signal. Or if you want to change it to this or something else, I'm just going to copy this. So we're going to change from the signal to this address book. And now you notice that shows up on, on there. So you can change that to a car. You can change that to a star. Now I'm putting this up because I've, you know, I've been using it for a while, so I know what these different icons are. So you can pretty much, um, Put anything that you want, want in there. As you can see, whatever you type in there, that's what, what it changed to. Uh, and that's something that's, you know, pretty cool that you can do. So you scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, you can change, you know, the, the text that goes with it. And you want to scroll down here, you can choose the flip style. So now you have to rotate, you have to slide. So when you put your mouse on there, let's go back to hover. So when you put your mouse over it, it slides instead. And you go over to fade. It fades, you go over to 3D and it gives like a 3D type of effect and you can choose however you want it to be. You can flip direction, you want it to go to the right, to the top, you want it to go to the left or you want it to go to the right, you want it to go to the bottom. So you choose the direction that you want this to go and you scroll out, do you want the content to be aligned in the left? So when you put it over, now it's aligned to the left or to the right or however you want it to be. And this is where you can change your background image. So let's say I don't like this particular image. I want to change it. Well, I'm just going to upload something here that I have. And just like that, I've put in an image that I like or that I wanted to, to be there. So let's say when you can clone this or when you're done, you click on save. Or you can pretty much choose to clone this. But it's a really cool effect. You know, it gives you your, your page a little bit more life. It gives it a little bit more, um, more flavor with it. So I'm going to take that. So you can just clone this and drag it over, clone it and drag it over and change it to whatever you want it to be, what different styles that you want. And everything is pretty much going to look great. So you can change this uh, to hover, to just click. You can change one to something else, but you have a lot of flexibility and a lot of control. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of it. So anytime that I release a new video like this one, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.